All right, this video is going to be a response video to a question that was asked on uh, a tutorial I posted a while back on how to use VLOOKUP to merge spreadsheet data. Um, you, if you haven't seen that video yet, you might want to click this link, go check that out, and then come back. It goes into a couple of different uses of it that will not be covered in this example. Um, the question was about using spreadsheet or a VLOOKUP rather in a spreadsheet to automatically populate bus passes. Okay, so the requester gave me these fields: student name, grade, teacher, um, destination, bus name, and notes. But I added student ID, and uh, it's not entirely necessary, but it is necessary to understand that you need a unique identifier. So. In a classroom of say 20 students, a student name may be fine. If you're doing a whole uh, school, then you might want to use a student ID because the likelihood of having a duplicate is uh, much greater. So what I've done here is I've created this roster, and I've also created. Um, I'll just scroll down here. I've got a couple of sheets going. So when I flip back and forth, you'll understand that's what I'm doing. I've created a, a sort of a bus pass. I wasn't exactly sure what theirs looked like, but um, I created this. If I click on the date, you can see that it auto populates today's date. And if I change this uh, student ID, um, you'll see that, and then if I tab out of it, you'll see that it, uh, it does bring in um, some information. So I've got those fields working. But I do not have the bus name in the notes, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do next. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start by clicking in the cell that we want to auto-populate or bring data into. And I'm going to start by typing equals VLOOKUP. OK, you can see when you start typing that that uh, Google Sheets, and I believe Excel does the same thing, uh, gives you an option to click. And it gives you some help uh, information about the string and how it should be um, put together and so forth and what each uh, section of the string actually means. Once you become familiar with it, you can just go ahead and start typing it. Um, but basically, when you click that, it also puts a parenthesis in here for you. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click the cell that I would be using to reference information. If I were using the student name, I would click the name field. In this case, I'm using the ID. I'm going to type, type, a, type a comma. And then I'm going to click over to my roster sheet. I'm going to click on the A. Now, if I were using the student name, I would click on the B. It's important to know that the, the key or the information you're using to find the data needs to be the leftmost column of your selection. Um, so if we were using student name to look up the information, we would have to click B first. In this case, I'm going to click A. I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to come all the way over to G. Um, even though we're, we're just looking up the bus name, I'm clicking G for a reason. You could actually just click F because we just want the bus name. I'm going to go ahead and put another comma in. And we need to count from A to F. And we're going to put a 6 in there. I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to type false. And then close the parentheses. Um, if we were to type true, it could return a partial match. Um, so for example, if we had a student ID that included 1, 2, 3, VLOOKUP could find, could see that and return invalid information. So if you, if you want exact matches, you want to type false. Okay? And then close your parentheses and then hit enter. Okay? And you can see that uh, Dan Quill uh, rides the short bus. Okay? So the reason I uh, selected the entire range from A to G is that when you do that, you have the ability to then um, copy and paste this formula. I'm going to hit Control C, which copies that selection. And I'm going to come over here to my notes, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in. And you can see that, well, wait a minute, the notes, we don't want him to ride the short bus again. Uh, so I'm going to change that to 7. And uh, you can see that uh, Dan Quayle loves potatoes. And you can come over here and say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's what that number means, okay? 
So in the formula, this number that we're typing after our selection is the column number from the leftmost selection that you want to return. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if we were to, uh, let's just go back and show you that it actually does work. Um, and you can see there that Bill Clinton was in fact a teacher's pet. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you that we can actually, if we were to print this, we'd have one bus pass per sheet of paper, which is kind of a waste. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the entire pass and I'm going to hit control C. If you're using a Mac, it would be command C. Um, and I'm going to select another cell, control V, which pastes it in here. Now, the neat thing about copying and pasting information in a, in a spreadsheet, of course we'd have to bring our bus image back in, but that's pretty easy to do, um, is that when you paste the information, it's somewhat dynamic. So when I click on this Bill Clinton here, or the student name rather, you'll see that it uh, it's no longer looking at E5, it's now looking at E16, which is this. So what that just did for us is gave us the ability to have two independent bus passes without having to recode all of the VLOOKUP information. Um, so hopefully this video has been helpful and I, you know, I think this is quite useful for many purposes, not just bus passes. Uh, and I hope it answers your question. Um, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please click that subscribe button and give me that thumbs up. It's real helpful to me. Um, and uh, if you want to see more of this type of thing, don't hesitate to, to ask those questions. I mean, if the questions and comments below, put them down there. Um, and I always try to try to get back to people when I can. Uh, and I have no problem, you know, posting requested videos as long as I can go ahead and figure it out. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have fun.